two angles are complementary. Automatically I know I've got something plus something adds up to 90 degrees. One angle is four less than three times the other. If one of them's x, four less than three times the other, I have three x minus four for the other. Now I've got an equation to solve. Combining like terms, we have 4x minus 4 equals 90. Adding 4 to each side gives us 4x equals 94. And dividing 4 on each side, we get x equals Ooh, we can go with a fraction, I'm going to go with a decimal, 23.5 degrees. Then I need 3x minus 4. I can either multiply by 3 and then subtract 4, or I can say, ah, these two things add up to 90, so subtract 90 away to get 66.5. Either way, we're going to get to that same answer. Next problem, two angles are supplementary. That means they're going to add up to 180. One angle is six more than four times the other. Okay, just like before, combine like terms. 5x plus 6 will equal 180. I'm going to now subtract 6 on each side of the equation. So 5x will equal 174. And then I'm going to divide by 5, and we can see that that will not go in evenly either. We're going to have 34.8 degrees. You can either multiply by 4 and add 6, or you can just say, hey, my two angles are going to add to 180, so subtract 34.8 to get 145.2 degrees as the other angle. Okay, continuing on, let's see what we have next. The smallest angle in a triangle measures 90 less than the largest angle. I'm going to draw a triangle here. 90 less than the largest. The middle one is 60 less than the largest. So it almost seems like two of them are in terms of the largest. So I'm going to let x be the largest. The smallest is 90 less than the largest, so that would be x minus 90. And the middle one, not drawn to scale, is 60 less than the largest. So I have three angles, x plus x minus 90 plus x minus 60. And I don't have a perimeter this time. This time we're dealing with angle measures. And so the sum of all these angle measures should be 180 degrees. Combining like terms, I'm going to have 3x minus 150 equals 180 degrees. We're going to then add 150 to each side of this equation. That will give us 3x is equal to 330 degrees. And therefore, x is equal to 110. So our three angle measures, not drawn to scale, are 110, 90 less than that, which is 20 degrees, and 60 less than that, which is 50 degrees. Let me put my little degree symbols in there. And there we go as our solutions. The next problem, find the value of y. I probably should have a little degree symbol up there, y plus 2 degrees and 3y minus 18 degrees. Also, sometimes in word problems, when you have a 90 degree angle, we put a little square in the corner to designate the right angle. In any triangle, the angles add up to 180 degrees, so we're going to have 90 plus the 3y minus 18 for one angle, plus the other angle, which is y plus 2. Those should all add up to 180 degrees. Now, the parentheses that I wrote in there were just for emphasis, so I'm going to combine like terms with everything else that I see there. 
and let's do the y's first. 3y plus 1y makes 4y. And then the constants, 90 take away 18 is 72, plus 2 more makes plus 74, equals the 180. I will then subtract 74 on each side. That gives me 4y equals 106. And dividing by 4 on each side, we will have y equals 26.5 and y is just a number, it's not an angle measure, so I don't need to write degrees down. Find the measure of the vertical angles. Start by solving for y. Since these angles are across from each other when the two lines intersect, they are vertical angles, and therefore they are equal in measure. So I can say 3y plus 26 is equal to 5y minus 54. I'm going to begin solving the, this equation by subtracting 3y in order to get all the variables on one side. That will give me 26 equals 2y minus 54. And I'm going to then add 54 to each side of the equation. And that will give us 80 on the left is equal to 2y. And dividing each side by 2 gives us y equals 40. Now, we were asked to do something beyond that. Find the measure of these angles. When I substitute y in, in either of these places, it's your choice. I'll choose the bottom one. 5 times 40 is 200. Take away 54, I get 146 degrees. And that will be the measure of those two vertical angles.